this time of year, my home, spend the weekend watching college football. I'm assuming streaming's a no-go. We could put, put an aerial on the roof. That is actor Stephen Root in the HBO series Barry, premiering its third season tomorrow night. The dark comedy stars Saturday Night Live alum Bill Hader as a hitman turned aspiring actor. And Root plays the man trying to lure him back into a life of crime. While you may not recognize his name, he has been part of some very memorable moments in TV and film. Our Jamie Wax met up with him in Los Angeles to talk about his long and multidimensional career. I don't think so. Uh-uh. I'm going to call Hank. We're going to set the whole thing up. You might know him from this. It's her! Or this. That if they move my desk one more time, then, then, I, then I'm quitting. I'm going to quit. But the fact that all these roles... Jim Hudson? From thrillers. Hudson Galleries? Leave me the irony of being a blind art dealer isn't lost on me. To drama. Uh, what we do here at the Future Freedom Summit. To comedy. I have decided to run for president of the United States. Don't even scratch the surface of the remarkable career of Stephen Root. <laughs> supports the argument that he just might be the most versatile and busiest character actor in Hollywood. I am North Appeal. I am a watermonger in the workers' district. What do you think being a character actor means? Character actor is, is versatile. I mean, there's a lot of people who come up through, the, through, through TV and film. They do their strength, which is one thing, and they're great at it. But there are not a lot of people who can, can do comedy and drama and change their persona. I'm really lucky to be able to jump those worlds. I can do a broad comedy. I can do a very heavy, heavy drama piece. Just how well do you know Shigur? What do you want to know? I just want to know your opinion of her in general. But I was sure about my five other weddings, too. <laughs> no, please, <laughs> don't tell Charles. He only, he only knows about three. <laughs> and I feel very blessed I'm able to uh, jump back and forth like that. I would argue that the reason you can do that is because you go to your core. Except you have to realize character actors steal from the best. <laughs> That's what they do. You're influenced by everybody. His influences got him into Shakespeare and eventually Broadway. You have no improv in your background, but you are as strong an improvisational character actor on, on camera as any human being working right now. That was a learned experience for me, and mm. it terrified me for a long time to do that until I relaxed and realized it's just a character and whatever comes out, if you just become the character, whatever comes out is fine. And what came out of Stephen Root landed him in culture-changing projects. From News Radio. Billionaire, bachelor candidate, brought down by own reporter. To King of the Hill. No, I feel bad I couldn't help Ricky across the line, of course. To multiple acclaimed films with the Coen brothers. How meaningful have the Coen brothers been to your career? Everything, you know. What can I do you for, Mr. French? The first time I, I worked for Joel and Ethan was on O Brother. It was comfortable because they were one mind. They had everything storyboarded. They had exactly what they wanted, except they let you play. Director and writer Mike Judge also let Root play. It was in Judge's now revered movie, Office Space, that Root created one of his most memorable characters. <laughs> I was doing King of the Hill for Mike Judge at that point, and he said, listen, I wrote this movie. I, we have to read it for the Fox execs. I said, you want to come read it with me? Said, okay, <laughs> yeah, sure. Mike was going to read Milton. And I'm, great, okay. So we walk over, he went, nah, I just want to listen to it, you read it. And he took me into a little room, showed me a pencil sketch of Milton with him as the voice. And he said, do, do something, you know, like in that vein. So I took that and gave him a little lisp <laughs> and went farther than Mike did with the character. But then they switched from the swing line to the Boston stapler, but I kept my swing line stapler because... This is actually the real swing line prop. This stapler, we had four, four, four of them. Uh, two of them we burned up in the movie. Mike took one and I stole this one. <laughs> <laughs> and he continues to go farther with his work. Esther, nice to meet you. Something on America. full display in the new season of HBO's hit series, Barry. 
which pits Root against co-creator Bill Hader. What are you? And for which Root has received universal acclaim. But it all might have gone a very different way. And the notes came back from HBO saying, we love what Steven did, but he's here. Where does he go? There's no place for him to go. The character had been written as so loud, boisterous, shouty guy. And Bill said, yeah, you're right. Where's he going to go? So let's make him bad uncle. And that's where that came from. You're in a transitional phase. That's all. So we you totally me, reshot everything sometimes. I did in the pilot. I mean, they could have gotten another actor at that point, but they said, no, no Steve, do it. And we did it. Doing it led to multiple award nominations and yet more opportunities for Root. These uh, ramps weren't always here. You yeah. Know, there was kind of rickety. Who continues to add on to the beautiful home he bought years ago with the funds from his first bona fide commercial success. Okay. But you bought this in the second season of News Radio yeah. when you knew it was time to invest. In oh, something. well, you got to get in the game somewhere. And I figured the show would last two, three years, something like that. It lasted five, and, you know, life keeps going on. And this past year, he even got a full circle career experience, revisiting both the Bard and a Cohen brother in the multiple Oscar nominated The Tragedy of Macbeth. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh. And for Stephen Root, the goal isn't so much different than what he's been doing his whole life. It's just to showcase it in a different light. When they're looking for a character actor role, as you and I have described it, you've got to be the first call uh, that, that people are making right I'm now. I'm lucky to have a, a resume, but I, I think what next for me would be... Okay, let me circulate. Probably to do I some sort of a lead in film. I think that's... I'm, I'm ready to do that. Ah! <laughs> you! <laughs> but I, I like to concentrate on what I'm doing and do the best job I could do in that. You're still that working actor? Still a working actor. Still the goal. Uh, and it's a goal that's, uh, that's reachable. For CBS Saturday Morning, Jamie Wax, Los Angeles. Absolutely love him in everything I've yeah. seen him in and just surprises you with each one, with each character being so different. The range is incredible. Yeah. yeah. Totally incredible. I first saw him in True Blood. He was phenomenal. I mean, playing this scary character, it was just... Just, just rich. He's always because he Milton. inhabits the character so well. He does. Are you doing stapler. your Milton? I need a stapler. My stapler. There. <laughs> there it is. I love that he has one of those staplers. <laughs> yeah.